Today's question is about Revo Architecture and keyboard shortcuts. Basically, they're trying to create a shortcut for the move command. They want it to be the letter M, but that doesn't seem to work. Well, we're going to go ahead and look at how the new keyboard shortcuts work and see if we can explain that. Now, Revo Architecture has had keyboard shortcuts for a long time, but you used to have to go into a text-based file to make those changes. Then there was a subscription tool you could get that allowed you to make the changes in a more user-friendly environment, like a dialog box. And now that capability is built into the application, 2011, and extends the options. So more commands than ever before are now available as uh, shortcut commands. So I can do a search for the command we want, which is move. And there I find it in the list. Then I can remove the existing shortcut, which is MV, and then type in my new keyboard options. So we'll put M, assign and press OK. Now when I type M, you'll see that down at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, it's going to cycle through the different M shortcut options. So MD, MM, and allow me to hit enter to pick the one that I want. Now move doesn't come up as the first in the list, so I have to hit the down arrow, hit enter, and then I can actually move this room tag. That's not the ideal way to do this, but that the, that's the way it works. So the best way to use keyboard shortcuts, in my opinion, is to do double key entries. So instead of just M for move, MM would be perfect for move. So I'll go back into my keyboard shortcuts. I'll search for move. Once I find it, I'll remove the previous one, which was just an M, create a new one, which is MM. And by the way, you can do Control M, Shift M, those sorts of things as well assign that and press OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and press MM and you'll see that the command that comes up is mirror based on an axis not move. That's because it's already assigned. So we're going to have to go back into our keyboard shortcuts. That's on the view menu under user interface. And then I'll do a search for mirror and then I can remove the MM from mirror and leave it assigned to my move command. And now of course when I type MM it activates the move command. I don't have to hit enter or anything after that. Just MM starts the command. So I can select the door, go ahead and pick a point to move it, and then adjust its location. So keyboard shortcuts, the best way to use them is with two keys rather than a single key. And you don't have to press enter afterwards if it's two keys. If you want more information about keyboard shortcuts, this is a good blog to go visit. It's called Revit in Motion. You can do an internet search to find it. Uh, the person writing it, his name's Oliver, I think he lives in the Netherlands, but he's written up a nice little blog on the new 2011 keyboard shortcuts and how you can utilize those. With that, thank you so much for watching this week's question and hopefully it helps you out in your daily Revit tasks.